Good evening. I'm Dr. Waffenbeek. My entire lifetime I have studied the riveting culture of the Umab people. Like any culture, the Umab tribe has a detailed history, and this is the epic tale of their creation. At the dawn of time, and even before that, there was a goddess by the name of Nirsva. This great goddess was everything. She was the water below, the air around, and even the heavens above. She was all-knowing and was generous enough to create life. Nirsva gave birth to four sons. First, firstborn Nerps. The second, Remus. And the third, Laf. She created a wolf as a son as well, by the name of Retnu. He was the fourth and final son. All four sons were born animal, with human characteristics, speaking to Nirsva's love of all life. Nirps appeared first, as a panda bear. His nature was purely good and honorable, and he possessed the ability to give life and to create. Remus was a grizzly bear. He was the fierce protector of the realm. Laf was a koala bear and was easygoing and relaxed. Retinue finally, however, was a white wolf and was a fan of destruction. The sons met together and decided to present their mother with gifts. Nerves gave his mother the gift of all life. Hello, mother. Here's the rice. Thank you, son. Remus gave his mother the gift of warmth. Hello, mother. Here's warmth. Thank you. Laf gave his mother the gift of beautiful scenery. Dude, look at the beautifulness. Wow. However, Red New could not think of anything to give his mother, since his true nature was to take. Where's my gift, son? I'm sorry, I don't have anything. Nearswick gazed upon the gifts given to her by her three sons, and she made it well known that these three sons were cl clearly her favorite. From her gratitude of these gifts given to her by her sons, Nearswick created a beautiful tropical island to give them. The three sons took their gifts to the island and started to assimilate to island life. Nips, being the giver of life, gave life to plants and animals alike. Out of the bamboo tree, his favorite and most revered plant, he created the Umat people. Remus warmed the land and the air for Nips' creations and swore to protect them. Laf changed the color of the leaves to deep reds, yellows, oranges, and purples to please his mother's eyes. Retinue, however, sulked on another side of the island angry and jealous of the attention that his brothers were receiving from their mother. He sulked and stomped and raged around his set corner of the island. As his rage grew and grew, the air began to chill, the ground began to freeze, and the wind began to swirl just off the coast of the ocean. Everything he touched turned to ice. He killed everything. At last he reached his brothers. At the sight of them he grew so angry that the monstrous cloud that extended over the entire island began to dust the island with snow. With swirling winds that became Red News minions, they began to destroy everything in their path. Red News jealousy was apparent as he began to destroy every gift his three brothers had given their mother. Red News childish behavior angered his three brothers and a great war erupted between the siblings. The fighting between the sons pained Nirsva to no end. She went to the island to speak to her sons that were now destroying it and began to repair the island that she had created. I can't believe my son has done this. I need to fix this. She learns of Retinue's overwhelming feelings of jealousy towards her, his brothers and she acknowledges that she did not treat him fairly. She breaks them up and, being, and brings peace to the land. Stop fighting! Nirsva decides to create a compromise between her four sons to divvy up the year so that each of her sons could have an equal time to rule over the island in their own particular way. However, Nirsva was graced with the ability of omnipotence and she knew that Nirps, Remus, and Lop would never let Rednu rule during his allotted time. So every year, during the time of Rednu's rule, Nirsva sings to Nirps, Remus, and Lop to put them into a deep hibernation so that Rednu could rule without interference from his brothers. The End That concludes the creation myth of the Uvnab tribe and how the four seasons came to be. To this day, we can still find bears hibernating during the winter.
I'm Dr. Waffensmingle, and that concludes our tale. Good evening.